What's up guys, I'm Tech Ultra, and today we're back with everyone's favorite top 10 tech. For number one, we have this hoverboard by Vortex. Oh crap, crap, crap. Guys, I am officially a tech channel now. Yep, that's right, boys and girls. And I am really super smart and intelligent. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I was in the Discord, and one of you guys recommended me to make 10 Lego tech ideas. So, I figured I would take that idea and try it out myself. Not trying to plug in that Discord, but... <clears throat> If you want to give me ideas for videos and see them possibly made, maybe hop in that Discord, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get into the video. I've done multiple gaming setups in the past, but this version is taken to a different level because I want to include the normal things that a normal everyday gamer slash streamer would need. First off, we have a PC tower below the desk, which uses two window pieces, and inside you can fit whatever kinds of slopes and bricks and cheese wedges you'd like to build your PC tower. In terms of the actual streaming setup, I have a single screen computer with a webcam on top and also a microphone on the side. There's also a keyboard, mouse, and some G Fuel because all them gamers out there have to be drinking that G Fuel. So this next idea is a selfie stick. So if you're one of those people that are obsessed with getting pictures of yourself, you can buy one of these selfie sticks just to really admire how great of a human being you are. If you want to build a selfie stick, grab a four stud long bar piece, attach one of these connector pins on the end so that you can connect this plate, and then on the plate you can connect any one by two tile to represent a phone. Oh, those darn porch pirates. I see a lot of people with these cameras on their doors that will pretty much alert them whenever someone is porch pirating. So here is a really simple design for a ring doorbell. And it just uses a 1x2 plate, a round transparent stud for the camera, and then also a tile just to kind of finish off and give a little smooth look. If you get porch pirates at your door, fear not, those porch pirates can now go away and go porch pirate someone else like your neighbor, which you don't like. I, I know, I know. I think I'm like three years behind on this, but here is a hoverboard. These were popular, so popular when I was in middle school, but I figured I'd show it to you guys anyway. It uses two sideways building plates. On each side, you connect one of these stud pieces for the wheels and for the actual platform the minifig can stand on. Take one of these one by two plates and bada beam, bada boom. You have a really sick hoverboard. You can mow your grass with it. Do whatever you want with it. Now, speaking of electric transportation, in the city next to me, there's a lot of these rental scooters that you can just find off the side of the road and ride. So I wanted to make one of these like electric scooters in Lego, but this is a minifig scale build, as with all my other builds. So a minifig can stand on this, grab onto the handlebars, and ride around. Before we get into the next idea, let's talk about my Patreon. That's right, Liddy Broskies. I now have a Patreon, a place where you can support me, my passion, and this channel, and in return, get exclusive bonus content, including tips and tricks, announcements and updates, behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and much more that I won't be posting on YouTube or on my Instagram. The best part is that it's only $3 a month. For literally the price of a four-piece chicken nugget, you can get access to exclusive content. Lock my butt. No, I'm just kidding. That's not OnlyFans. Last but not least, I'm doing a giveaway, boys and girls. If we can get our first 50 supporters, I'm going to give away this Lego dot set. Um, create your own designs, lovebirds. Whoa, Ty, are you serious? What? Dude, go back to editing this video, man. What's your problem? Come on, dude. Step on your game a little bit, you cheapskate. Ow! Okay, you know what? You're right. Fine. Frick! I am going to be giving away this Lego Infinity Gauntlet set. If you get bullied in school, then snap on those people. Make them disappear from the universe. You want a girl's number, snap it and you'll get a girl's number. And I'm gonna give this away to one of the 50 people who uh, support my Patreon. So grab your mom's credit card and let's get going, boys and girls. Link in the description. Go support my Patreon. Here is a electric charging station. If you have a Tesla or any electric car, hook it up to this bad boy. You know, sometimes in life, you gotta flex on those, those outdated combustion people who drive fuel-driven cars. Flex on those people with your new premium quality electric charging station because you're a sophisticated human being. So this next idea is a simple LED screen TV. I've done plenty of 
TV designs on the channel, but this one has a different vibe. It's only one plate thick, at least on the outer edge, which gives off the look that it's a really thin TV, but to hold all the tiles together, I use this one plate in the middle. So it's a pretty cool trick, but to actually have it stand up, I have some of these clip pieces on the bottom, just so that it uh, has a little stand on it. With the TV, you kind of need an audio system, so here are these standing subwoofers. As a college student, I wanted to go for something a little bit fratty. If you want a party look, you can substitute the dish and stud pieces for transparent ones, which just kind of has like a neon live party kind of like concerty look, so it's pretty neat. If you want something a little smaller scale, like for the gaming setup, you can use these really small speakers, which are literally a 1x2 plate, 1x2 tile, and then two 1x1 studs uh, for each speaker. This next design is some LED artwork. To give off the look that it's sort of something that lights up, I use transparent pieces versus usually using uh, opaque pieces. So to give off that techy kind of look, I use a nice color combo of some yellow, some light blue, and also some orange. But buffet is all yours. Try out what colors you like best. And before I get to my 10th idea, there's a few scrapped ideas I actually have. First off, we have a Roomba, one of those automatic vacuums. Also, a really simple blender, one of those that like gym people do, like to make their protein shakes. And also, for people who don't have these laptop pieces, you can literally take a book piece, put a keyboard tile on the inside, and it gives off pretty much the exact same look. But anyway, number 10, this one right here is a drone. This is a large drone, almost like one of those drones that people can actually stand on. Underneath this drone is a camera, and to give off the look that the propellers are spinning, I used these uh, transparent dish pieces. So just a cool little tip if you're looking for ideas, if you want to give off the illusion that something's like spinning or rotating, you can use dish pieces for that. Anyway, boys and girls, those were the top 10 designs. Now, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. I've just been facing a little demotivation lately, and I think part of that is the fact that people are becoming really inactive in this community. Two buddies of mine quit YouTube, and it's a real bummer to see that happen, and it affects me as well. I'm putting it on my shoulders to push forward and keep making videos for you guys because I believe the point of doing YouTube is doing something that you love and some people quit YouTube because they don't find joy in what they're doing. Making funny videos like this is what makes me happy. I encourage each one of you to do what makes you happy. If this video makes you happy, if this video inspires you, go make your channel. Try making videos for yourself. If everybody did what they loved and enjoyed, everybody would be inspired. Go check out Discord if you want to talk to me. Talk to people who might have the same common interests as you talk to people who are also into Lego. I'm going to see you in the next one, so thank you. Thank you very much for staying all the way through. Keep on building and stay spicy.